When the latest generation Ford Mustang was introduced, most people were impressed by the GT Trim's 300 horsepower V8. Yet, some Mustang fans yearn for more. With them in mind, Ford has created an even more powerful Mustang, the supercharged Shelby GT500. Hello, and welcome to our comprehensive Kelly Blue Book review of the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. As implied by its name, the GT500 puts out a whopping 500 horsepower, plenty of power for even the most demanding driver. In addition to its impressive engine output, the GT500 also receives a number of functional and aesthetic tweaks that help create a well-rounded performance package. If you want big horsepower from a relatively inexpensive car, the Mustang GT500 is an excellent choice. If you want a car that handles as well as it accelerates, you may not like the GT500. While helping to keep the purchase price low, the Shelby's old-school live rear axle saps driver confidence when tackling anything less than billiard smooth corners. In day-to-day -day driving, the GT500's dated rear suspension is a non-issue, aside from occasional truck-like ride harshness. However, when pushed at the racetrack or on a freeway on-ramp, the rear end can feel unsettled, doubly so over rough surfaces. Those driving the GT500 should be prepared for a workout, as the clutch and transmission require some effort to operate, although it's hard to complain considering the Shelby Mustang's impressive straight-line performance. Whether taking off from a stoplight or overtaking slower traffic, the supercharged Mustang delivers a thrilling performance punch. As a bonus, the whine of the supercharger mixes exquisitely with the rumble of the V8 exhaust, producing one of the most exhilarating engine notes we've heard. In fact, the sound of the engine is so good that it stands as one of our favorite features. Another of our favorite features is the unique exterior styling of the Shelby GT500. Just like the rest of the Mustang lineup, the GT500 sports an aggressive looking front grille that leans slightly forward. The effect is heightened by the Shelby's more angular headlights and larger grille openings. Adding to the Shelby GT500's commanding presence are a vented hood, bolder front and rear fascias, and a functional front lip spoiler. In addition to striping along the sides, the Shelby GT500 also features wide racing stripes that stretch from nose to tail. Those who prefer a less conspicuous appearance can opt for a stripe-free exterior. The GT500's exterior badging pays homage to racing icon Carroll Shelby as well as Ford's SVT performance division. Surprisingly, there are Cobra badges on the front fenders despite the fact that the last Mustang to use the name Cobra was produced in 2004. The Cobra logo also appears inside, emblazoned on the front seats and in the center of the steering wheel. Leather seating, a supercharger boost gauge, and a classic looking ball shifter also distinguish the Shelby's interior from lesser Mustang trims. Otherwise, the cabin is just like any other Mustangs, which is to say attractive, but in need of higher grade plastics. Passenger space is generally good, although the rear seats can be tight for taller passengers. The Shelby GT500 Coupe features a large trunk, and the convertible version features a smaller, but still decently roomy trunk, although it lacks the useful fold-down rear seats found in the Coupe. The Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 comes equipped with six-way power front seats, power accessories, 18-inch wheels, color configurable interior lighting, and a 5-watt 8-speaker audio system with auxiliary audio jack. The list of standard safety features includes front airbags, front seat-mounted airbags, traction control, and anti-lock brakes with Brembo front rotors and calipers. There are only a few options offered for the GT500, including HID headlights and a Shaker 1000 audio system with dual subwoofers and an in-dash CD changer. Touchscreen navigation is also available, but it cannot be combined with the Shaker 1000 system. Power for the Shelby GT500 comes from a supercharged and intercooled 5.4 liter V8 engine. Its 500 horsepower output is sent via a 6-speed manual transmission to the rear wheels. As you might imagine, sending that much power through the rear wheels can result in excess wheel spin, a problem mitigated by the GT500's standard traction control system. Despite producing 200 horsepower more than the Mustang GT, the GT500 delivers only slightly worse fuel economy. City numbers sit in the mid-teens, while the Shelby gets about 20 miles per gallon on the highway. The starting price for the Shelby GT500 is around $44,000, with convertible versions costing around $5,000 more. Considering the small number of GT500s available, dealership markups are likely to drive those numbers higher. Potential competitors for the GT500 include the more expensive Chevrolet Corvette and the similarly priced Dodge Challenger SRT8. To find out what consumers are actually paying for the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 right now, we suggest you check the New Car Blue Book value page. Based on its limited availability, the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 is likely to hold its value well over time. And that's our comprehensive Kelly Blue Book review 
of the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. 